Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. And today's topic is equestic neuroma. And the alternative names used for this condition are vestibular schwannoma. It's a tumor, it's a nerve tumor, it's non-cancerous. And uh, it develops very slowly. It's a very slow growing tumor. And uh, it develops on the main vestibular nerve. The vestibular nerve runs from the ear to the brain. And the branches of this nerve directly influence the balance, the hearing, and the pressure from an acoustic neuroma can cause hearing loss. It can cause tinnitus, which means ringing in your ears, and unsteadiness. So this neuroma is usually arises from the Schwann cells and the function of these cells is that they insulate the nerves so the example is like uh, you see the electric wires they are insulated by a plastic layer and uh, in the nerves the same job is done by the Schwann cells uh, it slows growly but rarely uh, it may grow rapidly and it become large enough that it press against the brain and it can interfere with the vital functions. In that case, it could be life-threatening. Uh, as I said, the symptoms develop gradually and slowly as it slows, it grows slowly. And uh, it may be more likely to be, uh, to cause more noticeable or maybe more severe symptoms and the signs. Uh, once it's big enough. And the common symptoms uh, may include uh, hearing loss, it may include tinnitus, which means ringing uh, sounds in the ears. Uh, it may cause unsteadiness, uh, loss of badness, or the dizziness and vertigo. And uh, sometimes it can cause the facial numbness uh, and uh, maybe weakness or the loss of the muscle movement, but it is rare. And uh, if it interferes with the brain stem, it can be life-threatening if it grows enough. If you have these symptoms, you should consult your doctor. Uh, the causes, we don't know exactly, but there are risk factors which has been identified. And one of the most important risk factors is, uh, it's called uh, a neurofibromatosis type 2. So this is the only confirmed risk factor. Uh, it's autosomal dominant disorder, which means that uh, only one parent can pass this uh, to the child. So if uh, one parent has uh, this one, uh, there are 50% chance uh, that the child can have that. Uh, if it's left untreated, uh, it can cause severe complications, uh, which may include hearing loss, it may include uh, facial numbness or facial weakness, uh, vertigo, or maybe tinnitus. And uh, as I said, large tumors can interfere with the brain stem cells and uh, they can be life threatening. Uh, to diagnose uh, this condition, your doctor will perform the physical examination, he will perform the hearing test. Uh, but the golden standard uh, uh, like uh, rule for this condition is uh, uh, the imaging test MRI. Uh, once diagnosed, then the treatment options include. Uh, maybe observation, which means that uh, because it's progressed very slowly, so you just observe that it's not causing any serious problems and uh, what's the rate of the growth. And uh, then the microsurgery and uh, maybe stereotactic radiation surgery are the treatment options. Uh, like all surgeries, these surgeries carry some risk fact, uh, risks, you know, and uh, are the complications, which may be hearing loss, which may be facial weakness, maybe facial numbness, maybe tinnitus or vertigo or stroke or maybe brain bleeding or uh, maybe infections in the brain known as the meningitis so every surgery carries some risks and so this surgery too and uh, because it's very close to the brain so it carries more more uh, risk i mean complications uh, thank you very much for watching this video if you need more information about any disease any medical condition you can visit my website which is www.diseasesandtreatment.com and the link for the website is just below this video in the description area thank you Goodbye.